Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. In this video, I will show you the workaround for the Solo Bennies merge glitch. I'm the founder of this workaround, so make sure guys to share this video with all your friends to let them know about this awesome workaround. And it is still very easy, super simple to do 100% solo and it works on any car, okay? You can also do some other glitches, the super slammed and everything, you know? You can do all the secrets, uh, you know, of the Benny's merge with this workaround ultimately. So if you do enjoy this video, go ahead and please drop a like, subscribe to my channel. If you are new, turn the post notifications on so you don't miss out on any more future glitches or any more future content. And as soon as I hit 15,000 subscribers, I will give Red Dead Redemption 2 to one lucky subscriber. So make sure to subscribe right now. So to do this glitch or this work around, you know, you need to have a bunker. And you still need to start from step one. You need first to spawn in your bunker. Okay, so you need to make sure to go to your interaction menu and set your spawn location to your bunker. Okay, this is very important spawn in your bunker and then you need to go to your arena okay but you also need to have uh, garage b1 it works also in b2 so if you're a veteran and you do modded cars all the time okay you need to make sure you have a modded car but you make sure it is a benny's vehicle you know what i'm saying you need to have a modded car but it must be a benny's vehicle if it is your first time here, if you don't know how to do this, you know, if it is your first time, actually, um, ultimately, you need to make sure you have a Benny's vehicle, you take it inside the mod shop, and you set it to custom, okay? It's gonna tell you, do you want to switch your vehicle or upgrade your vehicle, you know, to custom, so you purchase this, okay? It is a little bit expensive, but this is what it is, okay? Um, so make sure to pick like a uh, not expensive vehicle because the vehicle will become your donor Okay, so once you're in your arena guys, you still need to take your phone and request a job Okay, but you don't need to do this step every time at least um, But yeah, make sure you're not registered as a CEO at this point because at some point your mission will disappear uh, From your phone, okay, um, so ultimately make sure to uh, uh, call Ron or Martin, okay? It works like a charm and you don't need to scroll all the way up to Gerald or something like this, you know? But don't pick Simeon, please, okay? Um, so now it is time to get inside the modded car, okay? So this time you need to uh, merge the modded car in the mod shop first, okay? So I'm gonna mod this car, okay? So I'm gonna merge this car in a second, okay? So now you need to get inside the car with the mods and then you want to take your phone and you want to select a job list and you want to select the job you just received from the contact. Then you want to select the mission and then you want to hover over the screen to accept it. Then you want to start holding down the pause button and then you want to release the pause button and half a second later you press A. If done correctly you're supposed to hear the phone click in the background to start the mission but instead you will have the pause menu okay and once you're in the pause menu you need to back out as soon as possible and then you want to press right d-pad. So at this point, if you did everything correctly, like the game will take you back in this lobby. So from here, just back out. At this point, the car with the modifications will be inside the mod shop and you will spawn on foot. Uh, just like in the previous glitch, just before the work around. Okay, so from here, you need to get back into the car. Once you're in the car, it is quite simple, guys. You simply need to press on the pause button you select the map then you want to switch view uh, to extend the map and then you want to 
uh, go to the invalid job and then boom you start the invalid job so once you started the invalid job you want to wait half a second then you want to spam left on the d-pad and then from here you will spawn on foot and your car will still be inside the mod shop but the car will be completely glitched out as you can see i have only one option at the top left of my screen uh, so uh, at this point guys if you got all that you know you hit the glitch and you can move on with the rest of the glitch so now you can simply get inside the car without uh, the modifications okay uh, it can be a modified car okay it doesn't matter but uh, just a car you want to mod basically um, so from here you need to do the job trick again on your phone you know with the mission There we go, I failed. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's go, the ultimate grinder. You, you can do it. There we go. So, Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. Go, my little Ronnie. Gimme, gimme, gimme. There we go. So, as you can see now. Both cars are inside the mod shop, so if you get inside the car without the mods at this point and you do the thing with the, the invalid job, it's not gonna work, okay? It's not gonna work. So this is why you can get inside the Itali GTB um, or, you know, inside the modded car and do the invalid job, you know? Because you will not lose the modifications, you will simply spawn back on foot and your modded car will be back in the car slot so let's see guys uh, it's kind of weird there we go so i don't want it to do this part as the car was like moving forward don't trust this um so as you can see now i'm about to start the invalid job half a second later you spam left on the d-pad yes you spam it you only press it you will have problems with this glitch Alright, alright, so from here you simply need to go ahead and accept this alert screen. Okay, the invalid alert screen and a boom as you can see your Benny's car is back in the car slot. What's so special about it? I'll tell you what's so special about it. The car is completely glitched out and right in the middle of the mod shop. <laughs> so now get in the Itali GTB, you know, and do the job trick again, you know, the on your phone and there we go so I'm about to do it again so you guys can hear oh yeah sweet timing bro too easy all right from here guys back out back out and then you want to do the job trick again and the job trick on your phone you know so go ahead and do the job trick Damn it, sometimes, you know, this job trick. Let's go. It is supposed to be too easy. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. Gimme, 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 gimme. So there we go, this time I'm gonna hit it. Hit it, boy. Hit it. Hell yeah. There we go, back on track, guys. So, as you can see, both cars are inside the mod shop. And if you get inside the car without the mods and you do the thing, you know, with the invalid job, you will get a super modded car. So now, let's see if this damn thing works. So from here, obviously, you want to go ahead and press right on the D-pad in order to save your vehicle. So go ahead, boy, you can do it. Press right on the D-pad right now. What are you doing? Right, let's go, thanks. Hell yeah. 
I'm just kidding, it's me playing. <laughs> no way. I just said that? Yeah, I'm not gonna edit this part. There we go. Let's do this, guys. So, as you can see, you need to change one thing on the vehicle in order to save the vehicle, and then you want to drive the car outside. Let's go. Keep merging, guys. Rinse and repeat. Have fun. Thanks for watching, and I told you, guys. I had the workaround. I told you. So, if you did enjoy this video, no, whatever. I'm your boy, the ultimate grinder.